What is up, Karatix? So, Rockstar has just confirmed that we will be getting a DLC this summer for 2024, but not just any DLC, based on their newest Newswire post talking about the new GTA Plus benefits for April 3rd. They claim it will be, quote-unquote, a big update. Now, before we get too excited, Rockstar has used this wording in the past for smaller updates, stating massive update or big update, like in the case of this Newswire, so we should still keep our expectations pretty low, but at least it's good news that it's confirmed pretty much that it won't be, you know, a small little update with only a handful of cars like a lot of us were expecting for these last few DLCs for GTA 5 Online. Again, we pretty much only have about two to three DLC updates left for GTA 5 Online before six releases in 2025, but I guess we'll see what Rockstar's planning. Now, I would guess we're probably going to get an update very similar to the Mercenaries update with some new missions and some cars. I don't expect it to be an update as large as the Chop Shop DLC, for example. Now, as for when this update will release, usually Rockstar releases their summer DLCs between June and July. So we're potentially only about two to three months away from this DLC, so not too bad. It's just crazy how fast time is going by these days. But yeah, at least that's some good news. Rockstar is still giving us a few more DLCs for GTA 5 Online before we move on to 6 in 2025. And let's hope that they go out with a proper bang content-wise for at least these last few DLCs, but again, only time will tell. Now, in the meantime, for those of you that are a little low on money in GTA Online, as the last update was pretty expensive, I would definitely start saving up as much money as you can, as you, you know, have a pretty significant amount of time at this point, two to three months. But anyways, again, guys, thanks for watching. Hope this was helpful, and I'll see you in the next one.